This episode of our Continental Edition of Crates brings us to Cannes on the southern beaches of France to the home studio of Pablo Picasso. His California villa was the birthplace for the postmodern ideas that would shape future generations of the world. Hola, que pasa, homies? It's your hombre de arte, the Dada Daddy, the funny looking hobbit guy with the paint thing, Pablo Picasso. Bienvenido. This is my home where I live and work. I moved here from Paris in 1951. I had too much work and too big a life for such a small borough. Plus it was just so pre-war. I purchased one room and then you know, I filled it. So I buy another. And I fill it with art. Plus I like to paint the pigeons. So I buy them a room. So I bought the whole thing. Somebody call me the bird man. I come from a group of artists called Cubists. Although I was classically trained to paint like this, I paint like this. Why? Because it's fresh as hell? Yes. I mean, no. What we gave the world was a new way to see everything around them. So my boys like to get a little tipsy. Maybe Dolly unpaint his mustache or maybe Matisse paint on the ladies. Oh yes, the ladies. I told you stay away from all ladies. I was what you maybe would say the Britney Spears of art. Minus the crazy drugs and bad parenting. Okay, Bieber. I am the Bieber. So I experienced my success during my lifetime and became world renowned for being at the edge of art and culture. So now everyone asks me, Picasso, what is beauty? Picasso, what is art? Why are all the ladies' faces squishy? Do you like my ankle tattoo? Picasso! No! Art is like a lie broken in tiny shards that hint at the truth and facets. Life is no constant. Nature does not say this is beauty, this is ugly. What we perceive are fragmented perspectives of the things we observe. The beauty in art and in life is found between the cracks. Think of it like this. Take your eyes. No, don't take my eyes. Okay, I take my eyes, you take your eyes. Take your eyes and cut them out just like this. See? You take your eyes and you cut them out and you put them in a tiny little owl. From every new angle we can find untold beauty where we would have been blind to it before. This is cubism's purpose. To view the world as nature intended it to. Honestly. You might ask yourself, Picasso, where's your bathroom? Where is your kitchen? I say wherever I want to. Some days this is my kitchen. Some days this is my bathroom. But I like to paint all over everything, if you can't tell. An artist's studio is meant to nurture his spirit, not to hinder him with things like rooms or make him wear pants or something. This is where I make all my work, including sculpture and printmaking. Over thousands of works I will complete here. My wife... My three children, Paulo, Maya, and Claude, and their grandchildren, just really take up too much space. I don't think there's any room from here with all the art, and the pigeons, and the mistresses. And Puff, my little wiener dog, don't forget him, I love him so much. But they like to stay on the weekends. It is here where I will die and be laid to rest on April 8th of 1973. Which reminds me, I'm dead. Now get out of my house, you stupid people, before I make art out of you or something. Picasso would go on to be remembered as one of the most captivating and influential artists of the modern era. In addition to founding the Cubist movement, Picasso's groundbreaking ideas would be used throughout the world's literature and music. His painting depicting the bombing of the Spanish town of Guernica would become a symbol for the atrocities of war. Picasso's career and household in the Villa California and the French palms are perhaps best summed up by his most infamous quote, Art is a lie that tells the truth.